I wanted to do a quick video today on how I make the magnetic pacifiers for my reborn dolls. Um, I start out by picking whatever pacifiers that I want, whatever binkies I like or think are cute. This one I actually already did, but I'll show you how I do it. I then get a razor blade. Um, mine looks like this. You can use pretty much any kind, but this is easy because it's um, you can get right into the little small spaces. So then you flip the pacifier over and you take your razor blade and you want to cut off the entire um, nipple part. That's this part. Um, this one you can see I already did and I'm just going to go back and make sure that I got all of it off without, um, without making too much of a mess. I'm going to do that to the other two. And you can just throw away the nipple part then. Just be careful you do not want to cut yourself. because obviously these razors are sharp. All right, there's another one cut off. I'll do one more so you can see it. It's pretty easy to get through, so you just take your, take your time so you don't cut yourself. Okay, and then this part is done so you can put your razor blade away. Then, once you have them all laid out, you grab your magnets. Um, you can use whichever kind of magnet you use on your dolls. I'm going to use the rectangular ones here today. Um, it doesn't matter which direction you put the magnet on, just make sure that it's going to stick to your doll's mouth first um, if you're making it for a doll that's already made. Oh, my magnets keep sticking together. Okay. So then I'm going to take my E6000 glue, that's what this looks like, it's what I have left of it. Actually I have a new bottle in there too, I could have used, but I'm just going to use this one. So you're going to take your E6000 and you're going to just put a little bit of glue on each one of these. each one of these so they each have a little bit of glue right in the center there I'm gonna put my cap back on my E6000 because it tends to keep trying to come out of the tube once you get it going good and then you're gonna take your magnet and you're going to press the magnet right down on the glue try to make sure it's even so that it lays flat on your reborn's mouth and then I take and I just set them as flat as I can, just like this, off to the side so that they have time to dry. There's another one I'm doing right there. It's okay if you get a little bit of glue on it. It's not going to hurt anything. Magnet's still going to work and it's not going to hurt at all. Okay. So I have them, as you can see, all sitting here. And they're going to stand right there and dry. And when you're all done, you will end up with beautiful pacifiers like this. And they will stick directly to your, re to your reborn's mouth because there's the magnet and it's already put on it. And it'll go right up on your reborn's uh, mouth and stick to the magnet that you've installed inside of their head. Okay, that's how I make my magnetic pacifiers. If you have any questions, let me know.